I have this theory that the intro episode of Power Rangers Super Dino Charge, Super whatever, was supposed to be part of the finale of Power Rangers Dino Charge. However, they couldn't place it in that segment, so they put it on to the next segment. It was cool how Snide or whoever went after the Rangers. The bandit even destroys the monster that defies him. Sledge is destroyed but can be reanimated, so what was the point of killing him off? And I feel like them telling us he can come back was a bit of a waste. I'd say showing up again was cool though. There's so much US footage outside of the Zord, which is relieving. Shows a bit of production value. There's also a good use of Keeper again, since everyone got frozen. It's sort of weird that Ice Age is so powerful now. Also, the enemy going to Amber Beach pretty much makes their base a Sydney duck. But the commercial was a great addition, adding suspense to the show and really making me want to watch the next episode. It's probably again intended to be a season finale, but instead just really adds to the pacing of the series. It's a little weird how Fury is in the intro of the episode of the series, but not the finale. Why did Tyler not follow him when Snyder was demorphing? Edit logic sort of screwed that up. Also, Fury's in the opening, although I'm glad they didn't drop the storyline, since they sort of dropped him in the finale. Also, Korda's Glacier storyline, Fear, makes no sense since... One, they already addressed him going into contemporary times with him not having a Glacier issue. At least, I could, not to my memory, at least, I could be wrong. Two, he already fought Ice Age before it had no problems. Shelby going to business school is also sort of a waste. As a business major, I can tell you, I do nothing. I make YouTube videos for a living. You know I'm making money. So Shelby doing science is probably a waste of time. Shelby and Tyler shipping. Also, the opening looks a lot more action-packed, but the font looked like very Windows-ish choice, even though it's one of the better fonts. Who cares, though? Judd Lynn rules. Long live Judd Lynn.